Ever felt like you're on your own, away from everyone and everything? It's normal for these feelings to drag you into a bit of sadness. But what if the universe is keeping you alone for good reasons? What if those times when you feel lonely are actually opportunities in disguise? Let's dive into four reasons why the universe might be giving you a timeout and what valuable lessons you can take from each experience. Feeling lonely is a tough emotion to grapple with, but it's also an emotion that brings forth an opportunity. In this period of solitude, the universe is nudging you, sometimes rather forcefully, to embrace your own company. It might sound a bit cliché, but the best friendship you'll ever cultivate is the one with yourself. When you're alone, there are no distractions, no external voices or perspectives to muddy your own inner voice. In solitude, you can hear yourself more clearly. You start to ask, who am I when nobody's looking? What do I really like? What are my dreams, fears, and hopes? You'll find these answers within yourself, not from your friends' advice or social media likes. This is your golden opportunity to really get to know yourself. The more comfortable you become with who you are, the less you'll need external validation. That's a gift that will enrich your life forever. When we're constantly surrounded by other people, it's easy to adopt their viewpoints, habits, and even their dreams. We often morph into what others want or expect us to be. But when you're alone, it's like the universe is giving you a blank canvas and saying, paint your own picture. Take this time to evaluate what beliefs you truly hold. Examine the truths you've learned and decide whether they resonate with your inner self. Maybe you've been living according to someone else's truth for too long. Solitude offers you a chance to reclaim your own belief system and shed any borrowed skin. It's like a detox for your soul, making you more aligned with your authentic self. You'll never discover how strong you are until being strong is your only option. Being alone isn't just a spiritual exercise, it's a life skill. In your isolation, you'll learn to solve problems by yourself, to make decisions without a safety net, and to truly take care of your own well-being. Learning independence is like a course in self-empowerment. When you can trust yourself to navigate life's complexities, a newfound sense of freedom emerges. You're no longer bound by the need for someone else to complete you or to solve your problems. The universe isn't isolating you to make you a loner. It's preparing you for a love that's more enriching, friendships that are more fulfilling, and familial bonds that are unbreakable. When you're comfortable and secure in your own skin, your relationships transform. You attract people who complement your life rather than complicate it. Your solitude isn't a punishment, it's your own personal growth incubator. It's a period that propels you towards a more enlightened self who knows their worth and can bring their whole self into relationships. This is how you achieve not just love but a connection that's both genuine and deep. To prepare you for more meaningful connections, it's easy to get complacent in relationships when you're always surrounded by people. When social interactions are abundant, you might not truly value the gift of a good relationship. But when you've been on your own, hungry for authentic connection, your perspective shifts dramatically. When you finally find someone who resonates with your soul after a period of isolation, you won't just appreciate them, you'll cherish them. You'll recognize the precious nature of human connection and will be less likely to take it for granted. This heightened appreciation makes you a more attentive, considerate, and loving partner or friend. Being alone gives you the wisdom to understand what you will and won't tolerate in your life. During your time of solitude, you've built a fortress of self-respect. Now that you know your worth, you're not willing to let anyone diminish it. You're able to set clear boundaries, making it known that disrespect has no place in your life. This isn't an act of selfishness, it's an act of self-love that benefits everyone involved. When you enforce healthy boundaries, your relationships become more balanced and harmonious. 
you create an environment where mutual respect and love can flourish. You might think that spending time alone will make you less capable of understanding others. Surprisingly, it's the exact opposite. During your alone time, you explore the depths of your own soul. You become acquainted with your flaws, your strengths, your dreams, and your fears. This self-knowledge is a crucial first step to understanding others. After all, how can you fathom the complexities of another person's feelings if you haven't unraveled your own? As you develop a deeper relationship with yourself, you also acquire the emotional intelligence to navigate the complexities of human relationships. The equation is simple you can only give what you have. If your internal reservoir of love and care is empty, you can't possibly offer it to others. Your time alone has allowed you to fill this reservoir by cultivating self-love and self-care. By loving yourself, you set a baseline for how you want and deserve to be loved. This makes you not just a better partner but also a better friend and family member. When you operate from a place of self-love, you naturally become more compassionate, empathetic, and caring toward others. Your relationships transform from obligatory interactions into joyous connections. To deepen your spiritual connection, you might be wondering why the Divine, God, seems to have put you in a timeout, leaving you to navigate the complexities of life on your own. It feels frustrating, even disheartening, but what if this period is actually a divine invitation? The universe may be isolating you not as an act of abandonment but as an invitation to deepen your spiritual connection. When you're alone, stripped of distractions and external influences, you find yourself standing at the threshold of the divine. In the quietude, you begin to recognize a truth that might have eluded you before, you are never truly alone. The universe, God, or whatever higher power you believe in is waiting to co-pilot your journey. Have you ever noticed how your solitude encourages you to seek out practices that nourish your soul, whether it's prayer, meditation, or delving into sacred texts? These aren't activities you pursue out of obligation. You're drawn to them almost like a magnet because they resonate with something deep within you. It's as if your soul recognizes these practices as its native language. Through them, you find a peace that surpasses all understanding a serenity you can't get from any social gathering or earthly pleasure. This peace becomes your sanctuary, a wellspring of strength you can always tap into no matter where life takes you. Being alone fine-tunes your spiritual connection. Your increased sensitivity allows you to perceive the messages and signs from the divine that you might have previously overlooked. These messages often come in subtle forms, an unexpected synchronicity, a dream, or even a sudden intuitive insight. Because you've cultivated a deeper relationship with the Divine. Embracing time alone is like receiving a special gift from the universe. It's a chance to discover the depths of your own thoughts and feelings. Being by yourself isn't a punishment, it's a valuable opportunity for personal growth. You learn to appreciate your own company, set healthy boundaries, and develop a stronger connection with your true self. In this solitude, you're not really alone, you're in the company of a universe that believes in your power to heal, love, and transform. So, treasure these moments, for they are a path to a more enlightened and fulfilled version of yourself.